Okay, so we're talking cart carrots. And what are cart carrots? Well, at their heart, they are personalized messaging that appear within the cart after your customer has added items to it. And because it appears in that very moment when they've added items to their cart, they won't miss this message, which is great. So there are a couple of different kinds of carrots. One is the general content carrot, and that is things like weather notifications, shipping incentives, and maybe something like discounts for a particular birthday month. Then there are the product upsell carrots, and that's when you're obviously trying to upsell whatever is already in the cart. So it might be ice packs, could be bundles based on a particular SKU that they've purchased in the past, or a very powerful one is a product upsell that is based on what's already in their cart. And why should you use them? Well, there are a couple of pieces of data that support why you should use cart carrots. One is that it increases the average order value. Because you are using upsells and because you are catching these people right as they are purchasing, it does absolutely increase the average order value and incentivizes people to add to their order. Secondly, it increases conversion rates. The number one reason why customers will abandon their cart has to do with shipping rates. Once they see how much it's going to cost, they abandon their cart. So if you have, for instance, a shipping incentive carrot that explains to the customer, hey, if you just purchase one more bottle, you will get free shipping, it's very effective. And then finally, personalization. Your customers want to feel special. They want to feel that they are special to you. So if you are able to personalize their shopping experience, they are more apt to purchase more and to be loyal to your brand. So without further ado, let's learn all about cart carrots. Alrighty, here we are in Commerce 7. We're gonna to go to the dashboard and then marketing. And then from here, we go to cart carrots. So the first thing we're going to look at is what the locations are of the various cart carrots that you can configure. So when we go to add a cart carrot, we have three different locations to choose from. We have the top of side cart, the bottom of side cart, and the actual cart page itself. Let's go over to the front end to see where these various locations are located. Let's head into my site here. And I'm going to scroll down and add something to my cart. All right, so this is the side cart. So when we're talking about the top of side cart, we're talking about the very top here. And when we're talking about the bottom of side cart, as we scroll down, this is the bottom of side cart. So it's below anything that has been added to the cart. And then when we talk about the cart itself, we click on View Cart. And this message up here, is a cart carrot in the cart itself. So those are the three places where cart carrots can appear. Okay, so we're back in Commerce 7, Dashboard, Marketing, and Cart Carrots. So let's go build one. So I'm going to add cart carrot. The first one we're going to do is a bottom of side cart message. So let's click that guy, Texas and Florida. A word about sort order. So only one cart carrot can be present in any one of the locations. For instance, if you had a customer who was eligible to see both a birthday message and a shipping incentive message at the top of the cart, you'd want to put your sort order as your preference of what you would want that customer to see. In that case, you probably want them to see the shipping incentive as opposed to the birthday message because there's the potential of making a sale. Again, we have the location for this particular message will be the side cart bottom. Down here, you can choose either a general content message or a product upsell message. General content is basically just going to be a message within the side cart bottom in this case. It's usually a notification of some sort, or you could do a product upsell, in which case if you choose that, it gives you 
a choice of what to show in the upsell. We will be creating one of those next. But for this one, it's going to be general content. And it's basically going to say, hey, if you're going to ship to Florida or Texas right now, it's too hot. We will be holding your order. Texas and Florida orders will be held until it's safe to ship. And maybe heat warning. There we go. Perfect. So heat warning, Texas and Florida, it's going to be held. As we scroll down, we see our conditions. So this defines who this carrot will be visible for. So we have a couple of different options here. So either all of the below conditions must be met or one or more of the below conditions if there are multiple. So let's take a look here. Item, there are lots of different conditions here that you can choose. In this case, it's going to be just customer, but let's say it was customer birthday. If you did that, you would say is equal to or not equal to. In this case, is equal to, and then you could choose this month or today. And always remember the ever powerful customer tag. You can always create a tagged segment of people based on whatever criteria you use, and then only that tagged segment of people will see the carrot. For instance, if I choose tag is equal to, here are all of my tags. I could send it to my shard lovers, I could send it to my gold members, etc. But in this case, I just want everyone to see this particular message. Get everyone and save carrot. On this page, you'll see that it is split up into top of side cart, bottom of side cart, and cart page. So you'll see at a glance which carrots you have in which spots, along with their conditions. In this case, we see the one that I just created, Texas and Florida, in the bottom of side cart. Let's go take a look at it. I'm going to go over into my site here. I'm gonna scroll down here, add some wine. Let's do 12 of those, add to cart. And voila, here is our bottom of side cart heat warning. You'll notice that it appears below whatever has been added to the cart. Okay, we're back in Commerce 7 on the cart carrots page. Let's take a look at the one that I created for the cart page. So clicking into this guy, you'll see it's the adult signature title. I do want this one to always show first, even if someone is eligible for more than one cart carried in this particular location. The location is cart page in line. And then this one, again, is a general content page. And then we have our message here. You'll see that I bolded and centered this one. You have quite a bit of leeway here. When you click on the three dots, you do get the information here so that you can, you know, left or right justify it, add an image, put a link in there, etc, etc. As we scroll down, again we have conditions, and again I want everyone to see this. You do need to have an adult signature, and that's important to let everybody know. We're going to save that carrot, and let's go see where that one lives. So we're going to again go back into my cart on the front end, and whereas this one was in the bottom of the cart, I'm going to click view cart, and you'll see here, remember, adult signature information. Okay, heading back into Commerce 7, back on the cart carrots page. We're now gonna create an upsell carrot. So let's go into add cart carrot. We're going to put this one at the top of side cart. So we're gonna call this one bundle. Sort order is one, location, side, cart, top. This one's gonna be a product upsell. And you'll see here, it gives me a choice of products to upsell. I wanna upsell the sampler. And in my message here, I want, why not try our sampler? Scrolling down, we have conditions. So what I want here is if anyone puts in their cart any one of the bottles that are in the three bottle sampler, I want to offer up the sampler. So let's go ahead and choose skew in cart is equal to, and I know that my shard is in that sampler. Let's also add an option. Skew in cart is going to also be equal to my rosé. Adding an option and skew in cart. 
is equal to my cab. Now up here, right now we have all of the below conditions must be met, but I actually want it to be one or more of the below conditions. I want this particular caret to display if someone has put the shard or the rosé or the cab in their cart. Saving that caret. Let's go take a look. So I'm going to go back to my store here. Gonna scroll down, let's put some rosé in the cart. We're gonna do six bottles of rosé, add to cart, and there we go. There's our sampler that shows at the top of the side cart. Why not try our sampler? And when you say add to cart, it goes and automatically adds that for you. And of course, recalculates everything so that it includes both the rosé and the sampler. So that gives you the basics. Take a look at some of the other videos in this article and you will see some commonly used very effective carrots in more detail so that you can maybe use them in your cart. As always, let us know in support if you have any questions at all.